Groundbreaking new research indicates that certain Neanderthal-derived genes are more common in Europeans than you may believe. Neanderthals interbred with early Homo sapiens when modern humans migrated into Eurasia approximately 50,000 to 60,000 years ago. As a result, modern Europeans carry about 2% of their DNA from Neanderthals, influencing skin and hair pigmentation, hormones levels, eyesight and vitamin synthesis. But don't let this small percentage fool you, because only the beneficial Neanderthal genes have been retained, while non-beneficial genes have been removed from the gene pool through natural selection. In fact, Europeans and other non-Africans are actually up to 20% Neanderthal, say, geneticists. Over time, these genetic contributions have been integrated into human genomes, and some Neanderthal traits persist in contemporary populations, particularly in Europeans. The interbreeding between Neanderthals and early modern humans likely influenced the genetic diversity in modern European populations. Some of the most visible effects of Neanderthal genes can be seen in physical traits, particularly in Europeans. For example, Neanderthal genes have been linked to adaptations in skin and hair, which may have been beneficial for surviving in cold, low UV environments. After interbreeding, the Neanderthal genes for lighter skin, hair and possibly lighter eyes would have entered the Homo sapiens gene pool. Neanderthals actually did possess some gene variants associated with lighter pigmentation in their skin, hair, and possibly eye color. Although they did not have the exact same variants as modern humans for traits like blue eyes, research has shown that Neanderthals carried different genetic variants that could have influenced lighter pigmentation. These findings are based on DNA from several Neanderthal individuals whose genomes have been sequenced. Neanderthal interbreeding and the shared ancestral gene pool for lighter pigmentation traits may have contributed to the selection of lighter skin, hair, and possibly eye color in modern Europeans. Neanderthals likely had different variations in these genes compared to modern humans, but their pigmentation effects are less clear. Nonetheless, it is believed that some variants in these genes could have contributed to lighter skin or lighter eye color in Neanderthals. Neanderthals carried genetic variants associated with lighter skin and hair. The same genes are also found in modern humans, particularly in Europeans, where it contributes to lighter skin. However, some Neanderthals also retained dark pigmentation variants, indicating that they may have had diverse appearances across different populations and regions. While the exact appearance of Neanderthals remains speculative, these genetic findings suggest that they exhibited a wide range of pigmentation traits, possibly including lighter skin, hair, and eyes in some individuals. It is important to note that Neanderthals lived in Europe and parts of Central Asia for hundreds of thousands of years, and like modern humans, they likely adapted to their environment over time. The lighter pigmentation observed in some Neanderthals could have been an adaptation to living in northern latitudes with lower UV radiation, where lighter skin would have helped with the synthesis of vitamin D. Indeed, research has shown that certain Neanderthal gene variants involved in vitamin D metabolism were also passed on to modern humans. These variants can influence how the body processes vitamin D, which is crucial for bone health, immune function, and calcium absorption. For instance, one gene variant related to vitamin D receptor binding, inherited from Neanderthals, has been found in modern populations. This variant may play a role in how effectively vitamin D is absorbed and utilized in the body. Additionally, it has been suggested that these variants may have helped early Europeans adapt to lower levels of sunlight in northern climates, where vitamin D synthesis from sunlight is reduced. Most interestingly, though, Modern humans inherited some genes related to testosterone production from Neanderthals. Studies of ancient DNA have shown that certain gene variants associated with hormone regulation, including testosterone, were passed down from Neanderthals to modern humans. Testosterone has been linked to cognitive functions such as spatial awareness and visual processing, which may include aspects of visual acuity and adaptation to low-light environments. Though not directly tied to the photoreceptor mechanisms, testosterone could potentially enhance brain regions involved in processing visual stimuli. Testosterone, being a hormone with systemic effects, has been found to influence eye health in various ways. 
Studies suggest that hormones like testosterone can affect the health of the retina and other eye structures, though the mechanisms are still under investigation. There's also an evolutionary hypothesis that suggests higher testosterone levels could be linked to survival traits, including enhanced night vision. In ancestral environments, better night vision could have provided an advantage in activities like hunting, which may have driven the selection of traits associated with higher testosterone and improved low light vision. This connection might also hint at broader evolutionary adaptations, where enhanced testosterone levels and improved vision in low light conditions could have provided survival advantages to early humans. Nevertheless, the direct biochemical relationship between testosterone levels and low light vision is still a subject of ongoing research and remains to be fully understood. One other notable area involves genes that influence reproductive traits, hair growth and skin characteristics, some of which also affect testosterone levels. These gene variants may have had adaptive benefits for early humans living in different environments, such as in colder climates where Neanderthals thrived. While not all these genetic contributions from Neanderthals are fully understood, it's clear that some of the inherited genes impact hormone regulation, immunity and metabolic processes. However, the influence of these ancient genes on testosterone production in modern humans is relatively subtle and complex often interacting with other genetic and environmental factors. Testosterone levels are also linked to certain aspects of brain and skull shape, especially during key developmental periods, such as the teenage years and fetal development. Testosterone, being a powerful androgen hormone, plays a critical role in the development of male typical traits, which include both behavioral and structural aspects of the brain and skull. For instance, Testosterone has been associated with more prominent features like a larger jaw, brow ridges and overall facial masculinity. These traits are commonly linked to higher testosterone levels, particularly when testosterone surges. Testosterone has also been found to affect the size of the amygdala, a region of the brain involved in emotional processing, aggression and social behaviours. Males typically have a larger amygdala, possibly linked to higher testosterone levels. Testosterone also influences the development of the hypothalamus, which is responsible for regulating hormone release, sexual behavior, and aggression. Some studies even suggest that testosterone levels might influence the development of the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in decision-making and impulse control, although this connection is complex and still under investigation. Males, on average, tend to perform better on spatial tasks, and testosterone is believed to influence this trait by affecting relevant brain regions. The evolutionary hypothesis linking higher testosterone levels to survival traits, including enhanced night vision, is a fascinating area of research that draws from various fields, including anthropology, evolutionary biology, and endocrinology. In ancestral environments, traits that increase survival and reproductive success would have been favored by natural selection. Higher testosterone levels are associated with increased muscle mass and strength, which could enhance hunting and foraging capabilities. Elevated testosterone levels can promote risk-taking, which might have been advantageous in competitive or dangerous situations, such as hunting or defense against predators. The link between testosterone and night vision is more speculative, but can be understood through several mechanisms. Testosterone influences various physiological processes, including those affecting retinal function. Some studies suggest that testosterone may play a protective role in retinal health, which could enhance the ability to adapt to low-light conditions. This might include effects on retinal cell survival and function, leading to better night vision. Higher testosterone levels might correlate with heightened sensory awareness and responsiveness to environmental stimuli. This could be beneficial in low-light conditions where quick reflexes and heightened senses would improve survival chances. Early humans living in environments with varying light conditions, such as those in northern latitudes, may have experienced selective pressures that favored individuals with traits enabling better adaptation to low-light environments. Individuals with enhanced night vision may have had advantages in foraging or avoiding predators during dusk or nighttime leading to higher survival rates. In addition to physical survival, higher testosterone levels may have played a role in social dynamics, 
In social species, including early humans, males often compete for mates and resources. Higher testosterone levels can lead to more competitive behaviors which may have resulted in greater reproductive success for individuals with enhanced night vision and other survival traits. Traits associated with higher testosterone, such as physical strength and confidence, might have been attractive to potential mates, further reinforcing the link between testosterone levels and survival traits. The evolutionary hypothesis linking higher testosterone levels to enhanced night vision and other survival traits provides a compelling narrative about how physiological and behavioral adaptations may have influenced human evolution. While direct evidence linking testosterone specifically to night vision remains limited, the broader connections between hormone levels, physical capabilities, and survival strategies offer valuable insights into the complexities of human adaptation and evolution. Modern humans also inherited some genes related to vitamin A metabolism from Neanderthals. These genes could have helped early modern humans adapt to different environments by influencing how the body processes and utilizes vitamin A, which is crucial for vision, immune function, and skin health. One key gene related to vitamin A metabolism that modern humans inherited from Neanderthals is BCO1. This gene is responsible for converting beta carotene a precursor to vitamin A found in plant foods like carrots, into retinol, the active form of vitamin A that the body uses. Neanderthal-derived variants of BCO1 have been found in modern humans. These variants can affect the efficiency of this conversion process. For example, some Neanderthal variants of BCO1 are associated with a more efficient conversion of beta-carotene to vitamin A, this could have provided an advantage to populations that had a diet low in performed vitamin A from animal sources, but high in beta-carotene from plant sources, such as in colder or more temperate climates where Neanderthals lived. This adaptation might have helped early humans survive in environments where obtaining adequate vitamin A from animal sources was less feasible. It highlights how genetic inheritance from Neanderthals played a role in shaping modern human physiology, in response to environmental challenges, such as diet and nutrient availability. The relationship between vitamin A and the evolution of low-light vision in ancient humans is a fascinating topic that connects nutrition, physiology, and evolutionary biology. Vitamin A is essential for maintaining healthy vision, particularly in low-light conditions. Indeed, vitamin A plays a crucial role in the evolution of low-light vision in ancient humans by supporting the biochemical processes necessary for effective scotopic vision. The ability to see well in low light provided significant survival advantages, influencing dietary practices and potentially leading to genetic adaptations. As early humans navigated diverse environments, their relationship with vitamin A and vision became a key factor in their survival and success. From an evolutionary standpoint, the interaction between testosterone and vitamin A could be seen as a mechanism for optimizing reproductive success and survival. For early humans, particularly males who often hunted at dusk or in low-light environments, a combination of optimal testosterone levels and sufficient vitamin A intake could have enhanced night vision and overall physical performance. This would increase survival chances by improving the ability to track prey and avoid predators. Overall, Neanderthal contributions to the human genome demonstrate the lasting impact of ancient interbreeding on modern human biology. And with that tantalizing statement, we leave you to ponder the mysteries of our shared human history. Until next time, stay curious and stay questioning. And before you go, please subscribe, share and explore our channel's other videos. Thank you and take care.